Hey, 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 happy day 80 of the BP Challenge. Sharon Cornell from here. Also known as Pajama Grandma. Not only in my pajamas, but wrapped up in my cozy grandma's robe. Or not my grandma's robe, my grandma's soft blanket. My 99, almost 100-year-old grandma passed away this year. And uh, I, I got a couple things from her. And one of them is this cozy little um, soft and fuzzy blanket that she used to sit with on her chair in, in the memory care unit that she was in. And uh, I actually got it for my granddaughter, but... My granddaughter hangs out with me a lot of days, so today, I so I keep it at my house. So it's at my house for her to enjoy, but today I was feeling a little chilled. It's, it's cold outside. It's definitely cold where I live this time of year. And so I wrapped up in my cozy, cozy little blanket just to take the chill off. That and my coffee. Coffee wasn't cutting it, so I needed a little extra. And then I've got my little cute elephant slippers on, like you care about any of this, right? Today, we are gonna talk about S and A. What the heck is S and A? S stands for systemization. A stands for automation. So day 80, we're in the home stretch, right? We've got the last 10 days left of the challenge. So what we're gonna focus on for this whole segment, because I like to break things into to bite-sized chunks, is how do we take everything we've done, everything we've learned so far, and make it automatic, and we do that by systemizing it, by creating systems that make it automatic for us to do. It's like creating a habit. We create habits so that things become automatic for us. Once we define and create a habit, it's automatic for us. It's automatic for me to get up in the morning and brush my teeth first thing. I've convinced myself that brushing my teeth first thing in the morning actually helps me wake up. Why? Because it does actually help me wake up. So after a couple of days of evidence of feeling more alert by brushing my teeth first thing in the morning, the first thing I do when I stumble out of bed is brush my teeth. Okay, sometimes I go to the bathroom first, but mostly I brush my teeth first because it gives me, it wakes me up and gives me energy immediately. And I like to, I'm a morning gal, but I still like to have a lot of energy. So by creating a habit out of that, I don't even have to think about it anymore. I just automatically do it. Uh, and we wanna do that with the things that you've learned in the challenge that are working for you. And how do we do that? We do that by creating a process, by understanding the process, and then I call it process automation, or by, by first, we do that through processes. Everything we do, everything we do, could be boiled down to a process. All a process is, is how we do the things we do. So how do I make a cup of coffee? I could write out step one, step two, step three, step four, how I make a cup of coffee. Now, I have a curry these days, so it's pretty easy, right? Fill the pot with water, well, plug the pot in. Fill the pot with water, grab a puck from the little drawer underneath the coffee maker, Put it in the little, um, I don't even know what it's called, I guess, the little place where the, the pod goes. Lift the, lift the thing, put a pod in, crunch it down, poke a hole in it, wait till the light comes on, push the button, and wait for my coffee to come out, and then enjoy a steaming hot cup of coffee. Now, that's not a very good process. It's just, it's just how you do it. How do you do what you do? That's all a process is. So today, our challenge is not huge. All I want you to do is think about and pick one process, one thing that you've done through the challenge so far that you've liked the results that you've gotten. If you know that you want to look into it more because, and you want to automate it because you know you're getting results from the thing you're doing. Say you're doing a business challenge and you've discovered that if you do and make five contacts a day, five contacts of people either on the phone, social media, writing an email, but if you do five contacts a day, that yields you all the business you can possibly handle for your business. Say you're doing a business challenge. How are you going to, what is your process for doing those five contacts? How are you gonna do it? We're gonna, and that can be the process that you pick. Five contacts a day, call it. And then you're gonna, through the next 10 days, we're gonna go in depth of how you make and define this process, how you automate it, test it, automate it, get the results you want, continuously improve it. We're gonna go through the same process we've been going through, through each segment of the challenge with the process that you pick. That's why today your challenge is just to pick one process, one thing you wanna carry forward with you. I could carry forward uh, the process and automate the process of checking my blood pressure. I could, carry forward the different um, nutritional supplements or vitamins or foods on myself. I could carry through the process of, um, what's another process with respect to, uh, you know, what's my, 
exercising process. What's the process I'm going to use to decide what I'm going to do for movement and exercise today? So obviously I have not picked my process yet for this part of the challenge today. So my challenge today is just like yours to pick a process of something that we've le I've learned or done so far that I want to systematize and automate and carry forward with me not only for the next 10 days but beyond the life of the challenge so maybe pick the one thing that's worked out best for you so far or you, you've learned the most up, 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 up from so far or that you know and suspect is going to continue to give you massive benefits and rewards so you want to systematize and automate that moving forward pick that one thing that one thing that you want to do the process on and and actually go through and learn how to do this on and that's all you have to do today pick that one thing what is your process what is the one thing that you are going to identify and create the process for and go through this the steps of systemizing and automating it because once you've done it with one thing anytime you want to do it anytime you want to systemize or automate something you now know the process for how to do it so you're gonna pick a process and we're gonna actually use the process of systemizing and automating it on that process I hope that makes sense anyway that's it pick a process and I will of course be with you tomorrow and we will hop right into process definition how do we define the process and what does that mean and how do we do it it's super duper simple it's so much easier than people think and I used to teach it I actually wrote a book on process management for systematization and automation so it was a long time ago it was back in corporate America uh, so know that this can be super duper simple like everything else we human beings like to overcomplicate it let's keep it simple and do what works but all you have to do today your one thing a day today pick a process you want to systemize and automate and that's what we're gonna do over the next several days have an awesome day if I can help you anyway if you need help picking a process I don't want you to be stuck just ask share in the comments below say hey I can't decide between A B C and D or I don't know if this is something that can be systematized and automated just ask and I'll help you out that's it I will of course be with you tomorrow